hope you're all doing well. So today I thought I would just sit down with you and go through what I'm putting in Archie's Halloween and Christmas baskets this year. I just want to say right now I'm really sorry if the lighting keeps changing. I'm battling with the sun today going behind clouds and it's driving me crazy. This is about the third time I've tried to film this now. So anyway, last year we did Halloween and Christmas baskets for Archie. He was two and I think we just got really, really excited that he understood it a little bit more. But now that we've started it, I think it's going to become a bit of a, tra a tra transition, a tradition. <laughs> And Elliot's still a little bit young, although I am going to put a few bits and pieces in for him as well. Um, but mainly, it's still for Archie. But I thought I'd share with you what we've put in the baskets this year. Obviously, this is completely unnecessary, but if it's something that you want to do for your child or your children, then I thought I'd just show you a few different options, and you can put these together for relatively cheaply as well. I'm going to start with the Halloween basket, because obviously we're only a few days off of Halloween. And then I'm also going to do the Christmas one. I asked on Instagram if you thought it was too early or you would like to see it and the vast majority of you said you would so I've included that in this video too but obviously you don't have to watch that one if you don't want to. This is the basket we're using for the Halloween basket. We also used this for the Christmas basket last year but I've picked up something different this year. Um, I think this was from TK Maxx but you can get things like this all over and you can keep these year after year so you don't have to rebuy them every single year so that's really good. So first of all I do have a few little things to decorate the box and I'm going to show you this all finished and how I put it together in a sec. So first of all I found this um, Halloween tinsel. This was from Asda and I believe it was a pound. It's three meters of spooky skull tinsel and I also found in there this little tinsel bat which I thought was really cute. It's actually like a hanging decoration but you'll see in a minute I'm gonna fix it onto the front and it was a pound. And also of course I got the spooky spider webs from the pound shop with complete with plastic spiders and um, I'm just gonna put that all over it. So I'll show you what that looks like in a sec and I used that last year and it looks really effective. And then inside I've picked up a few things from various places. So first of all I found this which is the Peppa Pig Sticker Paradise, which is a bit of a bit of a, a statement name for such a simple thing. This is the Sticker Paradise. It's basically six sheets of reusable pepper stickers and a sticker album. And I found this in the pound shop, which I thought was really cute. He's got a Peppa Halloween book, which he got in his basket last year and it's like all the same sort of design. So I, I think he'll really like this and doing the stickers. He's obsessed with stickers. Of course, no good Halloween basket or Halloween or Christmas occasion would be complete without chocolate. You might have seen these in my pound shop haul. There's a few things in here from that. So this is just like spooky chocolates with different vampires, pumpkins and things on. This I recently found in the pound shop and it is a glow tie. And get it, bow tie, glow tie. So this is the green one. I think they do a few different colours and it's a skull and it's neon. And I just think, you know, kids, anything neon, the little snap snaps in it that glow it up and stuff. He'll just love that. I got some head boppers from the pound shop. These are just little pumpkins. We put it on Elliot actually and they looked really, really cute. Archie will wear these for about two seconds, but I couldn't resist them because they just look so cute popped in the top of the basket. Probably Elliot will wear them though. I also found these in the pound shop recently. These are bubbles. He got an almost identical bubble stick from a party a few weeks ago. Obviously it wasn't Halloween themed. But he was obsessed with it, and in the end he ended up tipping it all over the floor by accident. So this has six in it, so he will love this so much, and I'll just keep some back for other days. Oh, we found this little guy who we thought was really cute. I think he comes with the batteries in because it has a little pull tag. So it's a little light-up ghost. This was from the pound shop, and we saw the exact same one in Asda for £2. So don't buy it from Asda, buy it from the pound shop. Um, that's really cute. Found this little game in Asda. I think it was about 50p. Um, I'll hold it up right. It's a pumpkin and it's a little maze where you have to get the ball into the middle. Don't know how fast he'll be on that, but I thought I would try it because he loves puzzles. I got some more sweets. I'm only going to put a few of these in because some of these are going to be for the trick or treaters. They are the Casper Popping Candy in strawberry, orange, apple, and cherry flavours. So I'm just going to scatter a few of these in there, but I thought. Popping candy is quite a cool thing for Halloween. Oh, I also recently found in the pound shop again, a bat and a ghost inflatable pack. So I didn't know whether to put this in there and then it's like almost like a little activity to do, like blowing them up and then obviously he can play with them. I think I might actually, I was gonna use them just for decoration, but I might put them in there first and then he'll wanna get them out and it'll be more exciting than if they're just up 
these are his remaining crackers. I don't know if you watched my recent pound shop haul, but he did the first little bit with me where we got some Halloween decorations and he's already, um, how do you, what's the word, cracked? He's already pulled, he's already pulled some of these, but he's got two left, so they're going to go in there and he's forgot about them, so he'll be excited about that. I picked up the spooky projector. Um, I missed this out the first time I went in Poundland and got Halloween stuff. And then I've seen everyone getting it and I was like, why did I not get that? So I think that's quite cool. It projects spooky images onto your walls. So it could be quite nice once it gets dark on Halloween. I also got these, which you might have already seen. These are the eerie torch projectors. And you need to get different caps, two torches, and then you can shine them on the walls and they create silhouettes of a ghost, a skull, bat and a pumpkin. I found these bat pendants which um, I, I want to get them out to show you, but obviously I want him to be able to open them. But they're like little, uh, one, two, three, like three little bats in a row, and they light up, and it's just, I guess it's like a little necklace. I'm not really sure. Bend and shake to activate. Again, ideal for parties, camping, fireworks, and dancing. Um, he will really like that. And then, again, from the pound shop, a little solar wobbler. So it's a little Day of the Dead skull, and you can just put it in the in the window and it will bobble because it's solar powered. From Asda, I found this little guy. We got these some of these in his Halloween basket last year. He got a mummy and a pumpkin. Um, and they're just the little wind-up toys that walk along and they, they race. And he still loves them now. He still plays with those ones. So, if it works. I saw that out in a sec. Um, but yeah, these are really cute. And again, I think it was, yeah, it was 50p. So you can pick up things even cheaper than a pound. So I've just added it all up and I spent about £14 on the stuff that's going in the basket, but some of that's for trick-or-treaters as well. And then obviously I already had the basket and the things to decorate I spent £3 on, but you could reuse those year after year. So I really think, apart from like the basket itself, you could probably make these up for about £10 and it's just a really nice little treat for them to have on Halloween. <laughs> box I'm so excited about this I know it's a little bit early but you can never be too organized can you so what I will just quickly say is if you have any little ones running around listening to this video that don't know who let's just say the secret elves are then you may want to watch this without them because I don't want to ruin anything <laughs> for anyone first of all the box I'm using is this it's a crate I found it in Hobbycraft it was actually eight pounds which is quite expensive for a crate but you could use it for so many different things you could decorate it you could personalize it and you can use it year after year I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm going to personalize it yet or I found this um, ribbon in Hobbycraft as well which just says Merry Christmas and it's like a burlap ribbon so I may wrap that around it I'm not a hundred percent sure yet First up I have the Magical Elf Doll which is £2 and we're making it more and more complicated for ourselves every single year but what the idea is is that on November the 30th, is that right? We're going to put this out that night so the day before the 1st of December and this is going to be the little door that Buddy comes through um, and it's got some glitter and a key and things like that and I just know he will love this and he'll be so excited to wake up in the morning and Buddy's arrived um, so that's only £2. I found loads of good stuff in the works. So if you have one near you, definitely check it out. It's really, really good. I recommend it. And then from the pound shop, I found this. This isn't for the basket either, but it ties in with everything. So they've got a selection of things called Elves Behaving Badly. And it's like this naughty plastic banner type thing, which you can, you know, like police tape. It's kind of like that. So what we thought is that, obviously, we're doing the Elf on the Shelf every day. Buddy can wrap this around the sofa or the fridge or something and just do something a bit naughty and cheeky with this. Um, and I just thought that would be really, really cute. And Archie's face will just be a picture. I got some candy canes from the pound shop. You can't really go wrong with candy canes. They just look so festive. They're the epitome of Christmas, aren't they? He will obviously not eat all of these, but he can have a couple and they just look nice in the box. I'm sure we'll eat some as well. Some Christmas stickers in Hobbycraft. He'll like these because these are like bubble stickers um, and they were a pound. I found this little cup in the works. So this is nice for cold drinks. Um, it was £1.50 and it has little elf, little elves on it. But I also picked up this one in the pound shop for hot drinks. And I'm not sure how well you can see it in the light, but it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. They do quite a few. And the reason I got this is because it's tin um, and it's not um, 
china that he could break because he's obviously only three so obviously i'm not going to put anything too hot in there but just a nice little warm hot chocolate or something and obviously that was a pound picked him up a couple of christmas books this one was from the works and it's called the polar bear who saved christmas um it was two pounds but they do a, a three book deal three books for five pounds which i always think is very good but i just got this one this time so hopefully he likes that and then this one was in the pound shop. It's the classic, The Night Before Christmas. He actually has one of these books, um, but it's very kind of grown up illustrations. And we just thought for a few more years, he might like sort of like these younger cartoony pictures. Um, so hopefully he likes that as well. We always read that to him ever since he, his first Christmas. We've read him that book on Christmas Eve. I got him his own little set of mini Christmas crackers from the works. There's six in there and he's just obsessed with crackers. Each cracker includes a sticker, hat, snap and motto. So they've not really got toys or anything in, but for a pound, I thought they were cute. Some chocolate coins, they just remind me of my childhood. We would get these in our stockings every single year and I love them. Well, I found this in the works. It's magic snow, so I'm assuming you add water to it. I haven't properly looked at it yet. We've had things like this before, and then it creates snow, and it's got a little shovel as well, so he'll love that. I got some more little head boppers, Christmas-themed ones this time. Obviously, Rudolph. Turn around, Rudolph. Oh, dear. This is a letter to Santa kit, which was a pound from the works. So, again, this is one of the reasons I love doing this box on the 1st of December because this is something he can do early on in the month and then we obviously know what he wants for Christmas or if he just wants to write Santa a note and it's got stickers and little things to stick in it and a pencil so for a pound that's just such a nice little activity to do with your kids got him this for Easter and they've brought it out again for Christmas it is the make your own Christmas cards um, and it was two pounds you get 12 cards and he gave them out to his nans and granddads on Easter and they just absolutely loved it because he'd made them so you can just stick all the different shapes on and they are the perfect little Christmas card to give to family because they're so much more sentimental. This I actually meant to show you at the beginning because it's not for the box. Again, we found this little elf washing line garland which would be great to decorate with but we thought it could be Buddy's clothes that he's left out to dry and it will be another elf on the shelf thing. I'm sure we'll work it out eventually. I didn't realise I'd got him three cups. Definitely doesn't need three cups in his Christmas basket. This one is actually Milk for Santa. And where was this from? I think it was from the works, actually. So, yeah, maybe we can just use this for Santa's drink on Christmas Eve. I also picked up the Make Your Own Pom Pom Reindeer Kit from uh, Hobbycraft. I think it was £2, maybe? A pound or £2. And then you can probably see clearly by the name you just make your little reindeer out of the pom-poms and it's really cute last but not least he actually picked this up himself but again he's forgotten about it and i'm just going to put it in the basket it was from our local garden center um it's just a penguin you have to put batteries in which it doesn't have yet but it repeats back to what you've said so i always think it's quite nice to have a little soft toy in these baskets as well so i'm going to pop this little guy in this little penguin and he will love it everything i really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you're putting little baskets together for your children or even your nieces and nephews younger brothers and sisters you can really do it for anyone of any age you can just change up what you're putting in them of course um, let me know if you enjoyed this video below and if you're going to be making one up yourself please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you again very soon bye guys